one, two, one, two, three, go! Hey everyone, what's crack a -lack? and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Tamika and thank you so much for being here. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to achieve a natural, dewy, no makeup makeup look. Um, like I will be using foundation. If you want to go for a more sheer look, that's totally cool, whatever. You know, whatever your cup of tea is, go drink that, it's cool. So before we get into the video, I'm going to ask you to pause this, but after I'm done telling you what to do, and I just want you to follow my Instagram, it's T-A-M-E-K-A dot S-P, and don't forget to subscribe to the video. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So first things first, you want to achieve, if you're trying to achieve a dewy, natural makeup look. I always want my skin to be hydrated. I've moisturized my skin already and now I'm going to spray my skin with my Dr. Robux Bondi Hydrating Mist and I'm just going to spray that all over my face. So now for primer, I'm going to be going in with two primers because my skin and my face are a little rough. So I do want to color correct my like darkness, but I want to also replenish my skin and wake it up a little bit. So I'm going to be going in with my Too Faced Hangover RX and my Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer in Peach, I believe. Yeah, Peach. So I'm just mixing those two together just on my face, obviously. So to keep this simple, I'm going to actually just go in with a CC cream. If you want to go in with a little more coverage, you could totally do that or a more sheer foundation or whatever your preference is. I'm going to be using my Smashbox Camera Ready CC Cream. There's SPF 30 in that, in this, which is like super important. Even if you're a brown skin girl, you've got to get that sun protection in. So I'm not going to be using a brush to apply this to my skin because, you know, you want to keep it simple. And it's a little dark, but it's okay. I don't normally like using my fingers to apply like um, skin tinted things I guess but I've gotten used to using this with my fingers. I don't know I used to find it really gross but it actually just applies so much better. Like whenever I've used a brush with this it becomes so streaky and really gross. Don't mind my mirror I'm just trying to blend this in nicely. So now I'm going to be going in with my NARS Radiant Natural Longwear Foundation and I'm going to mix that up or shake it up. And I'm actually, I didn't squeeze out all the water from my beauty blender because if I like keep it a little more damp, it kind of takes some of the coverage away I would say. Like it just gives it a more natural finish. So I'm going to squeeze that onto my sponge and I'm going to dab that all over my face. Literally, I think one pump of this is all you need, this little dot, and I'm gonna start dabbing that into like my problem areas. So the center of my face and a little bit in, on my forehead and my chin. So now with some Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay, I'm not gonna highlight. I'm gonna just put some concealer under my eyes, but I don't, I'm not getting it too light because I'm just trying to cover up some spots just to make my skin look a little more even. Just because we're going for a natural look doesn't mean we shouldn't be hiding the ugly. So now with my beauty blender, I'm going to be using the clean side. I mean, that's, that's actually not dirty, but it's fine. So as you can see, that concealer is not brightening my skin at all, which is like what I'm going for. It might kind of brighten this area, but this area is really dark, so you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. So this is meant to be a quick makeup look, but since I'm trying to explain what I'm doing and filming it, it's obviously gonna take a little longer, but this is usually what I do when I'm like in a rush and I need to be wearing makeup. Like most of the time when I'm in a rush, I'm out of the house. But if I have to go to work and like where I have to wear makeup, this is kind of the look I go for. So now I'm not going to be baking, I, but I can't, I know this is supposed to be a dewy look, but I can't let my creams and liquids sit on my skin and not be set. So I'm literally just taking this big fluffy Sephora brush and I'm taking 
like the tiniest bit of powder in the cap of my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to lightly dust that all over my face. So now that that's kind of all set in place, I'm going to use some of this Dr. Robux hydrating mist again just to get that dewiness back in my skin. I mean, I actually don't look that matte and I'm kind of living, but I just want to get a bit of that mist back or that dew back. But I'm not going to spray it directly on my skin because this shoots out pretty like hard at my face. So I'm going to just like spray it to the side and like put my face through it. Mm, okay, I sprayed it on my face anyways. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I'm just going to be taking this Becca brush and dipping it into Zanzibar from my Huda Beauty 3D Lights palette and I'm going to glow up my face a bit because we're going for that dewy, pretty look. And I'm actually not going to bronze or contour because we're going for the natural look, okay? I actually have like a really painful zit right here. Can you see it? It's like sort of protruding right there. And putting blush on top of it does not feel that good. Okay. Um, sorry, every time I film, I forget what I'm trying to do with my life. Um, I'm going to go just do my brows. I guess I will show you how to do them. Because I'm not going for like a bold brow, I'm really just going to brush through them real quick. And just fill in some bald spots. I'm just going to lightly brush through the bald spots. So now I'm gonna do a wing. So depending on how I'm feeling, I will still wear a wing with this like no makeup look, but sometimes I'll wear brown liner, but today I'm kind of feeling black for some reason. So let's take a moment and let's hope I don't screw up on the video again. Okay, so from my observations, first let me see if they're even. Well, that's as good as that's gonna get. This eye here, sorry, it trips me out when stuff isn't the same. Okay, blah, blah, blah. rewind. Okay, so this eye here, the eyeliner is like drying out and it's like kind of gray and I'm kind of not having this. But you know what, it's fine, it's fine. We'll move forward. So now for a mascara, I'm going to be going with my Bad Gal Bang by Benefit. This mascara here is so good and I just really like it. It's actually probably my newest favorite mascara. Um, my favorite drugstore mascara is the L'Oreal Telescopic. But as per like kind of higher end, I would definitely say this one or the Lancome Moss Here Big. Um, but I just love how this mascara is like wet. And the bristles are like tapered, so I can like not make a mess for once in my life. So I'm gonna go in with that. So a tip um, is to start on your bottom lashes and then do your top because when you do your top and then look down to do your bottom, like whenever I look down, my lashes touch my like eyelid and it's just kind of annoying. So I'm gonna dip into that. If you're going for like real natural, then I would go for like the roller lash because you want some like more of a feathered look. But I'm gonna just go with this voluminizing, uplifting. I wanna look awake. 
for once, so I'm going to push this up as high as I can get it. Push it up to the gods. I'm trying to remain cute while doing this on camera. But like, typically I'm like, uh, and it's like really unattractive. I just like, one time I was trying to film a look and I was like, watching the footage after of myself doing my mascara and I was like pulling up my eyelid and I was like, girl, like you look like an alien. So for lips, you can go in with a nude, you can go in with like a gloss. I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. Um, this is like that universal lip gloss and it's pretty poppin', I can't lie. So I just like a plump looking lip, especially when I don't have much going on in my face. Gotta look as fly as possible. So I'm gonna go in with that. So back in with that Huda Beauty palette, I'm gonna dip into Fiji with my finger and well, hope for the best because I'm not the best at using my finger for makeup. Ooh. Yeah, no, no, no. So I'm just highlighting using my Huda Beauty 3D Highlights or 3D Lights palette. 3D highlighter palette, something's wrong with me. And just kind of, I don't even know. I really don't even know. I'm just blending that in the blush a little more together because I'm not trying to make the highlight intense. <laughs> She's just a little intense, but that's fine. But I just wanted to look natural. That was the whole point of this video, but then I got kind of carried away. Bitch, I just filmed a whole video without my ring light. If you guys are digging my shirt, it's a little cute Toronto shirt. I got it from a company called Marquis Noir. A really cool thing about Marquis Noir is every time you order from them, they plant a tree. And if you want to save some quaint while you're at it, you can use my discount code. It's just my name, Tamika. So I'll leave a link for that down below in the description box. This is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. It wasn't like an overwhelming like, oh my god, she's so talented, kind of like blending 101 kind of thing. But it's just like a simple look that you can go to when you're in a brush. I mean, it's not like a five minute makeup tutorial, but maybe like 10 to 15 minutes. Um, it's super, super easy, and I hope you guys liked it. You know, sometimes I just ramble. Anyways, if you guys have any video suggestions, just comment down below what you would like to see next from me, and give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.